Okay, in this lesson, we're going to talk about um, breaking even. So what does it mean to break even? Well, breaking even is when your revenue, or the amount of money you're bringing in, is equal to your costs. So notice that when you are breaking even, you're not making any money, but you're also not losing money. So what does it mean to break even? It means that your revenue is equal to your costs. Now in your lessons they go through how you take the e formula for revenue and set it equal to the formula for costs and you come up with this break even point. Okay, so let's take a look at this question. Jalinda sells scarves at $4.45 each. Last month she sold 1,360 scarves. What was the last month's revenue? So make sure you use the correct formula. What are they asking for? They're asking for just revenue here. So I'm going to use the revenue formula. And revenue is the amount of money you're bringing in. So it's whatever you're selling them for times this U means the number of units you sold. So your revenue would be $4.45. That's the amount you sold each one for times the number that you sold. If you sold 1,360, you brought in 445 times 1,360. Okay, so your revenue here would have been $6,052. Okay, here's another question. Tony's Fixed costs of making 180,000 toasters is $75,600. The average variable cost is $5.38 a toaster. What is the total cost per toaster? Now, so this time we're asking about costs. Now, the total um, cost is going to be the fixed plus the variable cost. Okay, what did they want to know here? They wanted to know the cost per toaster. Well, we knew the variable. We knew the variable costs were five dollars and thirty-eight cents for each toaster. Okay. What about the fixed costs? Well, the fixed cost total were seventy-five thousand six hundred dollars. But again, they want this per toaster. So we need to know what were the fixed costs per toaster. To find the fixed cost per item, you take the cost and you divide it by the number of items. Okay, so here we need to find the fixed cost per items. We made 180,000 toasters and it cost $75,600 to do that. So the fixed cost per item will be 75,600 divided by 180,000 toasters. when we do that division we get 0.42 so the fixed cost per toaster is 42 cents so now we can find what they're looking for they wanted the total cost per toaster so we add the variable cost per toaster was five dollars and thirty eight cents plus the fixed cost per toaster was 42 cents we add those together and it looks like the total cost per toaster was five dollars and eighty cents. We have Marcel's fixed cost for producing eighty thousand board games is a hundred and twenty thousand four hundred dollars. Okay, so there's the fixed cost. The average variable cost, this is per game, was a dollar eighty four. What's the average cost per game? So again, we need to take our fixed and add to, to it our variable cost, and it needs to be per game. So the variable cost we know, the variable cost per game is $1.84. We don't know the fixed cost per game. We know how many games they made, we know the cost for all of them put together, but we don't know the cost per game. So what we need to do here is take the cost and divide it by the number of games. 
That will give us the fixed cost per game. So we're going to take 120,400 and we are going to divide it by 80,000. When we do that, we get 1.505. We round that to the nearest cent. That's $1.51. So the fixed cost per game is $1.51. The variable cost per game are $1.84. To get the total cost per game, we add those together. And when we do, we get $3.35.